This is Ray Bouchard in his 25th season, four-time Big 12 Coach of the Year, 10 NCAA tournament appearances, and of course that Final Four for the Jayhawks. He has his team off to a 7-0 start, their best since 2017. The Jayhawks will be in their white, trimmed in crimson and blue. Left side of your screen, the Shockers in their gold and black on the right. Keep in mind, both these teams coming off a of recent playing appearance. The Shockers had a play this morning against UNLV, dropped in three straight sets. And then Kansas played last night in Kansas City against the Roos. Brian Kelly off the Kansas block and out of play. It's always difficult, though, to play two matches in one day. So you got to think of that for Wichita State. And then for Kansas, playing on the road their first couple weekends. Also, Wichita State, they haven't played a home match, but this is Kansas' opening match in their home arena. But you travel a lot, and it starts to play, wear on you a bit. The service there turns it back over to Kansas. The Shockers start with an 11-match road trip. This is our first look at Kansas here inside Morris and Morris. Coach Richard, I talked to him, he said, you know, I think it's playing a toll on us just a little bit. Last night, a little bit sluggish. Wasn't super impressed with how his team did not, were, were unable to close out that first set. They were up 24 to 19 in that first set. That's the first look at Rollin coming in with that southpaw. Kansas was up 24 19 in set one. They dropped that set, but then they came back and rolled the next three sets. Kansas libero, Kennedy Ferris serves it up. Zabo and Langs not allowing a scene. The press was perfectly timed. Year, you're unknown a bit. A high you. recruit coming in, a 14th ranked recruit coming in out of high school, but you just don't know how that transition is going to go. Well, it went really well. It, she plays the game of volleyball at such a high level, so smart, but starting to settle in a little bit to this season. But the expectations are high. Good touch. Look there to cover. in that set. I think there was a shoe untied actually on that attempt. jump serve and one of the areas I think Kansas has has has, 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 has season is their serve and pass aspect. We're seeing a lot of new players, some youth on that back row. Who sends it over? Dixon Ferris. Langs. Nice pick up from Lickway. Ferris again. Bien. So 
smooth. And being able to utilize the block. Shoe tie this time. <laughs> Able to cut through the seam of the block. A strong push out though on that set. the type of players that you want on your team, those players that give and and not consume. Hey. Oh, the balance from Litzau. You always got to love it, a solo block. And then sees the overpasses and the body control to jump in the air and then press. This time. Coach about the level play for Matt Hill. Nadi missed a lot of the season last year due to an injury. Back into the lineup and a six rotation player from Kansas. Both of their pins play all six rows. Sometimes they do substitute for her on the back row, but she has all those skills and playing at a high level, coming off an MVP performance last week when they traveled to Army. Just a breath of fresh air talking to Billy Evil about her before the match. He's like, she is just like this array of, of like positivity and sunlight when she comes into practice. Uh, pick left hand. Here rolling. In system pass, the shockers are going to be difficult to defend. They have the physical arms, they have the players that they can put away the ball, and that is a difficult ball to defend. As I mentioned, the softball, they're utilized for all over the floor. You got to line up a little bit differently than what you're used to. You don't see as many lefties. Almaty off the block. I delivered ball from Cameron Turner Push, pulled off about the 10 foot line but still gets a great hittable ball up to El Nadi. Natalie Foster, second team all conference a year ago. will save it. Body there. Chance for Kansas. Body with a good touch. Oftentimes you see on a free ball, you know, like a heavy swing, but that's the vision. She said everybody's back deep into the floor. Well done for my all Nadi. Good serve. Turner wants Dooley. Rolling serves it up. Heavy swing, but it's long. more and more in volleyball. The pace at, behind the service line, you're going to see a bit more increase of service errors, I think, this season because of the importance on that first contact. You really have to go after it because at this level, especially, you're seeing teams, if you give them a little lollipop, they're going to be able to, free, you know, be in system and put a wall, ball away to high efficiency. With authority. Stout. 
Jayhawks lead Wichita State 15-9 here in the opening set from Horace Family Volleyball Arena here on Big 12 Now. Who can make sure your living room is always a perfect 71 degrees? That the drippy faucet in your kitchen is 100% less drippy? And that your workspace is comfortably cushy? Yep, it's the get it done right the first time experts from Kate's. Right now, get a rebate of up to $600 on qualified American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning Systems with Kate's. Because who can keep your house humming like a well-oiled machine? That's right, Kate's can. Making ends meet has always been a challenge, but lately, additional new sources of energy have been driving up costs faster than we can keep up. For people on a fixed income, the impact of costly additional energy sources hits hard. The fact is, oil and natural gas remain the most economical energy source known to the world today, lifting up Kansas families with affordable, reliable energy. That makes all the difference for a Kansas family like mine. Get the facts about Kansas oil and natural gas. Oil, oil and, and natural, natural gas, gas helps, helps keep every, every Kansas, Kansas family, family strong. strong. Coming out of the break. 15 10 now. Shockers trail in this opening set. Julian Navarro serves. Bien. He on the floor. Bien again. Tough angle, just wide. Dumps it over. Great play from Cameron Turner. That left hand over the shoulder hook. The center is live. Cameron turns a 5 1 system. So she just makes a nifty athletic play. But Cameron Turner was not highly recruited coming out of Topeka, Kansas at Seaman, but. We we're talking. We we're joking with Billy Eagle earlier, and he's like, "It was my best kept secret." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I didn't tell anybody about her." Yep. Going to Kansas is the end. Give credit for that one. It's more to find because she's really kind of taking hold of that center position, hasn't she? A player that could really you could throw out there and say, "Hey, Cameron, we need you to be defensive specialist today or an outside hitter," similar to BN, actually. I mean, just the all around. Sometimes you get set, and unfortunately specializing too early in volleyball, but not those players. They're just good all around volleyball players. Lags pounding away. Mitchell Lags beats Kansas to 18. Now the Shockers put a timeout. We'll talk things over as uh, Kansas off to a good start here in the opening set. Was there a first look at him? What, what has struck you about Kansas and their start 
thus far this year. Well, went on the road and played Utah Valley, Utah, and Loyola Marymount, who's a very good team and a ranked opponent in Utah. And they, I think, gained a lot of confidence going on a home floor of a ranked opponent in Utah in that environment. And then you go travel once again. You play a really good UConn team. They've returned a lot of players, a, a good Big East team, Army as well as Temple. And I think that, you know, you start to gain some momentum, but I think they carried some over from the last Sweet 16 run from a season ago. So many returners and the chemistry. That's one of the big things. Like, hey, we generally like each other. They, cut, they get along, and there's a lot to be said for that. I mean, they're happy for each other's success. There's a lot of depth as well. You're carrying a roster of 19, so there's a, there's a lot of bodies, right? And there's a lot of opportunity, but it's kind of next man up. When Zabo struggles a little bit, London Davis, number 21, she comes in. They're deep at the pins as well. Carly Schmidt, you see her from time to time. Ryan Swanson got in last night. So, And then also the depth at the Littles, too. So there's depth in every position that we didn't always see before. And certainly carrying on from that momentum last year. And they get along really well. Chemistry is an odd thing, isn't it? You, you, you know what it is, but it's hard to spot and it's hard to build. Sure. Sure. But uh, they seem to have it early on, and that's been a trademark of this team so far this season. Up early here in the opening set. Caroline Bien to serve it. for a middle blocker having to work you know pin to pin laterally jumping multiple times throughout a rally and give credit to Litzow the setter gets the assist but also gets the assist you see how Rachel Langs has to jump because that's a live setter so then that op opens up the net there for Natalie Foster to Saw kind of the over the shoulder touch, but that was a full on knockout punch. That one back. She's a southpaw, so that's her strong hand when she goes and attacks with that left. There's the nice dick. Turner. Kansas lead. Oh, McCarthy to serve. Almighty. Oh, Wide again.
action play. You can see Dooley gets the attention of the blockers, and then that fools everybody there. Ayal Nadi coming around. Off the Turner to serve. Oh, Up high is Natalie Foster. Natalie Foster to serve. The big clock kicks Kansas to 22. It's present when you have Dooley and Zabo. You got to get it pretty high over that top of that block. Kansas has come out and played well here in this uh, first set. Yeah, they're siding out at a high level. Coach B said to me, he said, last night, not pleased with that. He said, we point scored better than we were able to side up. That tells me anything about kind of how that match went. But tonight, already siding out at 81% so far. So siding out at a high clip. And then also, Wichita State trying increasingly upping those numbers as well. But Kansas got that separation, and they just haven't really pushed it in this first set. Talk about Jayhawks off to such a great start. They're nationally ranked top 20. Now, does that mean something to us as a player as you get national recognition early in the year? Yeah, more attention on you. It certainly would mean a lot more come November, you know, end of November going into tournament time. You want to, you know, have the ranking as high as you can. But preseason, you're coming off as 316. You're preseason 23rd. And then you're winning. You beat a couple ranked, you know, you beat a ranked opponent. Had some good quality wins now at 19. And you just got to add to that. Now you're going to have a big start on your back when you have a, a ranked number next to your name. But you have to be pleased with, with where they're at. And, and it'll be interesting. Anytime, you know, you then you go into conference, you know how daunting the Big 12 can be. So you got to focus on the non-con, and then you try to turn the tide. But I think you're happy if you're Kansas with their rating right now. And our friend Jim Marcioni, next played RPI to me earlier yeah. this season. You might be watching, Jim. Hey, Jim. Give us a text here. You can <laughs> break down the RPI for us. He always big supporter of volleyball. Absolutely. Nice pickup from Elnati. Bien. Ferris is there. Zapo. No touch. going back to serve. She will put a lot of velocity on this serve, trying to create from the service line. It's a big one. Ferris takes it. Oh with a swing. Zabel with a quick hand. Just a reaction play. Zabo just hanging in the air. That takes the Jayhawks to set point. Turner runs it down. Great pick up from El Nadi. Zabo. Jayhawks can't find that one. Well, El Nani made a great save back there. Second set point now for the Jayhawks. Sabo. Now, as a player, 
here, I'd like to stay on the same side because in an arena, there's always a better side. And if you're in your home gym, you pick a side. You you pick a side. Yeah. And like that perception, the lighting, everything it goes into, especially serve and pass. And I say this as a former libero, that first contact and the depth perception or the light, there was seats in the background you're that had weird. You're every day. Right. You're generally on one side of the floor or not right. on the practice, right? And now back to, to flipping sides. If you lose or drop a set, you're like, yeah, let's move. Let, let, let's go to the other side. This is going to be our good side. All right, Shocker serve it up. Turner. El Nadi. She gets it high. Harris with another pick. El Nadi. Pick up from Litzau. Nice good pick up for Shaw State. A great pick up. That led to that point from Litzau, the setter not allowing that tip. El Nadi saw success in that first set, not that time. Good adjustment from the Shockers defense. State, good serve. It's an ace. Dumped over by Turner. Something to be said for listen to your coach, though, too, so. right? And being able to execute on it. Just long. We might see a first challenge here yeah, on the challenge. Looks like yeah. they dodged it, but uh, Chris Lamb wants to take a look at it. It went through about three Jayhawks to get there. I actually was concerned about a net violation more than anything, but I think he's challenging whether there was a touch. Which is is challenging there was a touch. Take a look at this. No touch called and out. Is there a touch? Yes. There is a touch. On Caroline Bien, that right hand of hers. If you look at the finger of that right hand, go back. I think there's enough there to call that. I think this is going to be overturned. So if that's the case, now the rule is, and the coach uses a challenge and wins a challenge, you keep that challenge. So something new to the game of volleyball this year, that's great. Because I, I think like if you win a challenge, you yeah. should be able to, but you can only carry two into the fifth set. But if you don't have any luck, you also get one in the fifth set, which is nice as well. One of the best things, I think, when you look at the game of volleyball and just the technology, how it's increased, is the challenge. I love the addition of the challenge. It's just such a fast sport that it's so difficult to call live. Even when we watch it back sometimes, it's difficult. Down. I don't know. Our Rock Chalk video crew gave me a great look at it. it didn't look like those hands in the net. Kansas got a piece of it. We're still looking at it. At the time, I thought the longer the challenge went, the more chance there was to be overturned. But I'm not sure that's yeah. true. I think there's so many different angles yeah. now that they're able to look at, too. 
That's the psyche in it, right? And they're looking at it longer. Does that mean something? Yeah. Or was it Elnati in the back row that really kind of dodged out of the way? And I, I almost thought live, I almost thought that she that, took, that, she that, touched that it? Yeah, I got her, but. Significant break in the action, though. Early going of set number two. You understand this challenge, certainly, as Kansas up one set already in this match. The gathering of the minds. Here comes the verdict. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the right call. Robert, you're going to start a tally this season lead? You were one for one. Okay, let's do it. I'll give you that one. You, you, called, no, you it. called it early. All you right. called it early. Sophia rolling. Perhaps the leg. standpoint right you, a long break but also mentally you got to get focused back in key with a great serve and ace. she has two of them already both of the aces coming off the hand of McGee doing her part checking into the game and that's a difficult thing to do talking about being on the sideline and then coming in Kansas two aces, both from McGee. I'll tell you, in all of sports, I don't know if there's, a, there's anything that's comparable to coming off the bench and serving in a big situation. I mean, a relief pitcher gets to throw some warm up pitches right. in the bullpen. There's no, there's no warm up there. There's no relief. It's, and they're not over there. Eight, there's not exactly. a bullpen, right? Yeah, right? I mean, they're not over there warming up their arm, taking swings yeah. or anything like that. Double checking the scores. We understand it now. We've got Kansas 5-4. There's a mom in the stand somewhere who knows exactly what the score is. She's keeping it. Yeah. Keeping the tally. Yeah. Is it I don't know, it's like a mom thing or no, just a parent thing? No, it's a, it's mom, a mom thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> even, Laura, even, Laura always had the score. Even right. in the days when you didn't keep score, she the moms the score. kept score. Yeah. Man, I might be failing that. I don't know if I always do leave. We've got four of them to keep track of. That's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Great turnout here inside Horace Family Volleyball Arena. Jayhawks back in action on Friday night against UNLV. Good atmosphere here. Jayhawks off to a great start. We talked about the conference season coming up, and it's going to be really spectacular. Texas sitting number one in the polls, and you have Baylor as well, a top team. Kansas, but from top to bottom, there is no letdown when you look at the gauntlet of the schedule. I think the Big 12 is even better from a season ago. We had a chance to see one of the great matches in this early season up in uh, Omaha. Uh, man, that was 15,000 plus. It gives me goosebumps to think about it. I had goosebumps last night just being, I was just in awe of 
15,797 fans. Nebraska loves their volleyball, certainly, but show up for a regular season volleyball match. I just think that is incredible to, for the sport of volleyball. They're talking about maybe the chance for Wisconsin and Florida being able to break that in a couple weeks. I hope they do. I hope that volleyball, people start to love even more the game of volleyball. It is great for the sport. Nebraska beating Creighton in five sets. Wichita State scores it out of the break. Shockers draw even now at 5-5. Bien. Off the Kansas blocking out of the way. That's Foster once again, quick in transition. Living in a high clip. Four kills, no errors. Foster has size, but she's also very, very athletic. Very quick. Out of the net, well played by Turner. Ferris is up. Scored for Kansas. Kennedy Ferris with a great defensive play. There's so much going on within that rally. That's a never say die type of attitude. And then to finish it off, it was Langs off one. Tight to the net. Langs with the block. I think it's awesome. I mean, you know, a lot of people are calling them COVID babies, right, with that extra year. But I think she's embraced it. She's, I think, the first ever student athlete to get into the grad a master's program for speech pathology. So she's utilizing that extra opportunity for her education as well. Good for her to get into that program. It's very difficult. But then also, you can see that she just has a sheer love for the game. I think she always did. We had another one. <laughs> but when you know it's your last, and she's always had that joy. I think that's why her teammates are always so happy when she does something, is because she's so selfish, selfish, selfless as a player. Like down the line and scores. <laughs> Casey <laughs> tracks it down. Natalie Foster. I've really been impressed by her. Leading the way. That's a middle blocker with five kills now to lead the Shockers and just following her setter, that good connection, great spacing as well on that quick tempo ball. Langs puts it away. Kill performance last night against Kansas City. Following that up with a good performance so far. Four kills off six attempts. Rolling now at 
to five kills. They get her the ball more. Five kills on seven attempts, seven fourteen. So Kansas does not have the answer. I think if you're the Shockers, you get her more looks if you can. Naughty. Fast, fast arm swing. And Kelly takes it off the Kansas block. Kelly the junior, that was a savvy play from her. Seeing those hands and then just using them as a tool, exactly what she wanted to do. She was first team all conference a year ago. But she stayed with it. That's where you saw that deflection deep into the floor. Oh, what an Talk about heat. Yeah, off the hand, she has the highest velocity serve for the Jayhawks. I mean, that has some pop. A 3 0 scoring run for the Jayhawks. Tape again. Turn over there to take it. Money with the pickup. Bien. Bien. Uh, Bien. the first to 15. The Jayhawks take the opening set 25 18. They lead here in the second from Lawrence on Big 12 now. There's always something happening in Lawrence. This is Coach Lance Leifold. We're used to talking about all things football, but right now I want you to hear these four important words about the growing crisis of drug overdoses. One pill can kill. Kansans are dying every week from drugs laced with deadly fentanyl. Please educate your loved ones to steer clear of street drugs, never buy pills online without a prescription, and always use a reputable pharmacy. Just one pill can kill. Imagine a bank that goes where you go. Creating seamless solutions for every step in your financial journey. Allowing you to manage your money the way you want to. With a banking relationship that makes every day extraordinary. Imagine a world full of possibilities. Always within reach. Central Bank. We do banking better. Second set, Ayel Nadi serving. Ferris, Dezebo. Almost back on the Wichita State side. Back and forth early going as set number two, but Kansas now starting to get some separation off some good serving from El Nadi. Finally get El Nadi off the service line, but really just this is why. Bien 
with a big swing. And that's what Caroline Bean is so good. The balls, the out of system balls that you, she has to handle, and a lot of the players have to handle. Her gather step and her control. Is it a she hot, hot the level? Back first was Cameron Turner yeah. who had to run that down. Well, yeah. And yeah, the foot speed for Cameron Turner. We've seen that now on display a couple times, just how fast she is. A lot of players can't run that ball down. Cameron Turner can. You can run it down and then make something out of it. Right. Pretty impressive. Riley Kelly now for the Shockers. Back to Bien. Walking out of play. Shockers down 2013. Here in the second set after Kansas won the first 25-18. More of the same for Kansas in the second set than what you saw in the first. Yeah, it's starting to settle in just a bit more. And as I mentioned, signing out at a high clip in set number one, continuing to do that here, not as good of numbers, but still doing well. And then hitting 300 right now. I mean, that is a high clip. Current set though, 435. So they're very efficient offensively they're getting a multitude of players involved and they're doing some good things with their serve. How does Wichita State get back in this match? Yeah, just get in system. I think they've done a good job. They're able to put the ball away once they can get, you know, their setter a good option and make some defensive plays. I think from a blocking perspective, the Shockers can make some more plays at the plane of the net. That would help them out as they just have registered one team block comparatively to Kansas's 17 blocks. So there's a big difference there. 17 blocks for Kansas and only one for the Shockers. Credit to Cameron Turner delivering the ball. Kennedy Ferris has played well for Kansas in the backcourt. You give credit to Brim McGee. I think she's done a wonderful job. Has 11 digs and now back serving once again. And two of the aces off her hand. She came into this match with five on the season. Good sir. Anderson Wilford. Ends that Kansas run. Really licked away now from the Shockers. Communication on the back row for the Jayhawks, but still a good serve with some pace to jump float. Back row, Naughty. Sees the opening. Kansas continuing to change up different looks. We haven't seen this yet this game, so we had another option. 
Cameron Turner is live in the front row, so only two live attackers on the front row, but then that's an option on the back row with El Nadi. El Nadi gets the swing. Talk it over. As Kansas has been on a nice run here at the end of the set. Talk about McGee. Uh, Molly McCarthy has played well. The young, youngsters, littles, if you will. The baby Jays. Yeah. <laughs> the baby Jays definitely. And, and at first contact, I think that's an area where Coach Broussard said he thought. And to serve it. He's got a hand on that one. Thanks again. <laughs> side to side, Rachel Langs. to the net. Turner made a nice job to save that one. Ferris with a nice dive. Turner wants Langs. Why not? Set points now for the Jayhawks. King dial that up. The river court side, right? <laughs> George Ashley, the Horus, please. The end of the big Cameron Turner swings hard. Oh, Nadi! Is there a touch? Yes. Second set to Kansas. 25-15. The Jayhawks finish the second set with authority. Crimson and blue. Wichita State on the right. Shockers certainly have some impressive players. I mean, they have. There's a lot of talent on this Wichita State Absolutely. side. Absolutely. I they do not expect for them to run away here in set number three. And that's the beauty of volleyball too. You turn the the page. It's a new, brand new set. We've seen countless times, Leaf, right, where the, the team wins the first two set and they look like a completely different team the next two. And then all of a sudden we're going the distance. And Turner serves it. And Ferris can't quite get to that one. Morgan Weber. Morgan McMahon was in the match. Or, excuse me, that was Morgan McMahon. They both have blocked. Push just over the Kansas block. No touch point KU. Foster. Really, Foster continuing to lead the way for the Shockers, and this is so good, difficult to stop when they're in system. Coach Bouchard was worried about that. He said, you know, if they're in system, they're going to be really difficult to defend. Good from Tula to save and really with a block. Save up. Turned back by Bradley Kelly. Mitchell State out to an early lead and getting the block involved, some positive plays on their side. Yeah. 
sent back. Looks like Rowling got it. So I stayed off to their best yeah, start set. Definitely. Back to back blocks. Turner dumps it over. Nice pick it from Litzow. Shockers on to save the point to Kansas. Kansas. Two ball coming around the middle. I haven't seen too much of it. I see it there. Jumping on the floor. Ferris. Yeah. 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 The secondary set takes enough off of it. Continuing to find Foster. And it's not always off perfect passes either. I mean, that is a ball like pretty far off, far off, and that's good trust between those two players. See the first, maybe a challenge here from Coach Richard. Got the green card. So line official calls touch. Is there a touch? That's what we're going to be looking for. As Coach Richard thinks there's no touch, ball goes long. I tell you, live, I thought that was, that ball was way over the Kansas block. But you want to put your perfect record on the line early in the year? I'm gonna take another look real quick. I don't see one. I think it's over. I don't see a touch. It certainly looked like it live. I see how high up rolling gets, though. Gosh. Rock Chalk video crew giving you two great looks at it. I'm going to go overturned, no touch. Final answer. Leaf, what do you got? Putting her perfect record on the line. <laughs> Only one of one, so. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got, Leaf? I, I thought live it was, uh, I thought it was out. I didn't think there was a touch live, so I'm going to stick with that. So you think overturned too? Yes. Okay. Stop here. Pretty quick, though, with an answer here. Okay, well, so not a long deliberation means... Hey! <laughs> two for two. I got a feeling somebody's buying ice cream when this is all over, right? You. <laughs> will go back and serve it. 5-4 Wichita State now. Let's pick up. Wichita State on the contact call on Kansas side. Why does it 
takes that one back to Bien. That's down. We talk about that athletic play. Bien was nearly on the court, got back up, and then was able to put it away. Give and go. It sounds easy, but first duty's having to pass, and that was a difficult serve to handle. And then you almost couldn't walk it over in a better corner than she put it. Jayhawks. Turner. The Lanks. Set back. Morgan Weber. Different things with the line that we've seen from the Shockers. We didn't see Weber playing front row. Locked in there. A huge block. And the block for the Shockers. An ace from rolling. With an ace and everything rolling for Wichita State. Just long. Kansas. Molly McCarthy in the match for KU. State. true 6'6". Six, six. Sometimes, you know, you think, ah, maybe not, but no. <laughs> she has the height. Kennedy first with a great save. Cameron Turner on the floor. El Nadi. Quick dig from Weber. Both sides with good defense. Kansas with the point. First having a heck of a match. Yeah. 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 blocked that one. El Nadi winds up and puts it away. And now Wichita State wants a timeout. A 5-0 scoring run after Wichita State came out very hot in set number three. Great response from the Jayhawks. Kansas leads two sets to none and the lead here in the third from Lawrence here on Big 12 now.
who can make sure your living room is always a perfect 71 degrees, that the drippy faucet in your kitchen is 100% less drippy, and that your workspace is comfortably cushy. Yep, it's the get it done right the first time experts from Kate's. Right now, get a rebate of up to $600 on qualified American standard heating and air conditioning systems with Kate's. Because who can keep your house humming like a well-oiled machine? That's right, Kate's can. Exciting plays in volleyball, isn't it? When you get somebody winding up. You're a big fan of that back row attack, aren't you? Love it. Right the block. Welcome back to Lawrence, Rachel Langs. You never must. The super senior. So steady, 
so strong. And it's just also very patient. You have to be patient as a middle blocker. It sounds weird, but you have to be patient. And then you have to make a quick decision on where you're going to go. Turner with a great save, but Foster gets one too many chances. Puts that one away. Foster, Foster continuing to carry the load offensively for the Shockers. Nine kills to lead the way. And also second in attempts. So you don't see that too often as a middle blocker, but they're getting they're trying to feed her the ball. He's gonna handle that. Turner sends it out to Bien. Which is a couple hour break. A 3 0 scoring run has them right back in this third set. I've seen UNLV still in the stands behind us. They're taking in a little extra volleyball. They played Wichita State earlier today. They will get Kansas on uh, tomorrow night. And UNLV was able to win in three straight sets, but that first set was tight. It could have been anyone's. Set, and then they started to roll. You know, he did in set number two and three. As Coach Richard told me, he said, you know, V is a really tough opponent. They played high level volleyball. And he's like, listen, Wichita State is a very good team. So he was wondering how tonight was going to go. And certainly his Jayhawks has shown up in set one and two. Now can they close the door in set number three? Kansas with a one point advantage. Sophia Rowling will serve it up for the Shockers. Especially from a blocking perspective. She's been involved in nine of the 12 team blocks for Kansas. El Nadi. It's great to see her back, too. There's a spark that she brings to this team. And certainly a joy of which she plays with. I think that also says something about a player coming off of an injury. You know how it can be taken away. And they come back with this 
maybe just a little bit different perspective. opponent when you just don't know where the ball's going to go and I, I've seen it a few times with the back row attack, a couple offensive attempts from Turner and just moving the ball around. Coach Richard had high praise for his setter Cameron Turner and how well she's distributing the ball and how well she's playing. So the Jayhawks three points away from closing this out. Again they will see UNLV tomorrow night same time 6.30. I also want to make sure to tune in to Hawk Talk, September 13th, 6 o'clock. One JDH hosting with head coach Ray Bouchard. Jim Marcioni said he's coming in town. Hopefully he's coming in town for that. Jim Marcioni, you got to come in town for that. Be at the Hawk Talk. Henry Teeves, good food, a little volleyball talk. Some good content. Yeah. You never know what you're going to get. Crowd on hand inside Horsch. First home match of the season for Kansas. We mentioned UNLV here tomorrow night. And the Jayhawks back in action next week as well. Let's go to UCF Omaha. Coming down three matches in three nights. Sends it over. In the back row. Riley Kelly sees the opening. For a scoring run, still in it, Wichita State needed that back row kill from Kelly. Kansas. El Nadi. Good pick up from Weber. It's long. A touch. Match points now for the Jayhawks. Save the Shockers. Well, an opportunity for Coach Richard not pleased last night with dropping set number one to Kansas City up 24 to 19. Similar situation. So as a head coach, you're like, hey, we have this situation right back here. Can you close the door this time? Kansas, we knew it was going to be a physical team. How about 13 and 